So good morning, welcome along to Eclipse Motorcycles, riding this day, it's the final test ride on this for the customer Lynn, and this is the Royal Alloy GT125. So we've already done the uh, preview video on it where we shot from the park and told you a little bit about it. So this is going to be the final test ride for Lynn, absolutely perfect, we've got 5.5 miles on it at the moment, so just down to put the last part of the mileage on. And we're going to get this one out into traffic and we are going to have a run down the dual carriageway for a change just to see what she's like at obviously full speed and for the purposes of test riding although these are semi run in from the Royal Alloy factory we still stick to that obligatory 45 mile an hour so out in the traffic we go and building the speed up now, as I said these scooters are very very comfortable very short bars on these but you would expect from a scooter and uh, while I was getting ready to do the video, I uh, had a gentleman who said, Ooh, what's that? That's a Royal Alloy. I've never seen one of them. It looks like a Lambretta. I used to have a, an old LE1 too. I had a 15 minute live story, so I've really got to get on and shoot this video. But it just shows you the amount of uh, interest that these Royal Alloys get. Now, obviously, with these combined braking, and we're going to come in on the front brake first. So we're going to line it up, come in on that front brake and it pulls down very hard. Braking on these Royal Alloys is absolutely beautiful. And it's a lovely sunny day today. We've got about five and five more test rides that are lined up again. And we should try and get out on some ciphers today with a bit of luck. So uh, the two ciphers that we had in, we managed to sell both of them. We're out on this Royal Alloy and we're at 40 and we're just gonna wind it up to 45 and then bring it back down to 40. So we've taken it a little bit easy on that throttle and just steady her off and we're going to sit around about 40 again. Now the mirrors on this are very very low slung and I've got a hundred percent view of the road so really good setup on these mirrors and they are very very low slung so I get a perfect view of the road behind me absolutely spot on with the mirrors. Nice gauge in front and you've got your ribs across the top miles dead centre so you can tell exactly how fast you're going off to the left you've got the fuel tank and to the right you have your voltage meter it tells you exactly what your battery is doing and that's running perfectly at three quarters so we're exactly where it should be on its charging circuit now this one is the black one with the red stripe and this is the GT which means it has the plastic side panels to these only difference being the GP has the king and queen seat and metal side panels and obviously there are loads of accessories for these absolutely loads of stuff that you can get from Royal Alloy and you can get seats you can get decal kits you can get front and rear racks floor mats Tasso or Scorpion exhausts so there are loads and loads of add-ons on these Royal Alloys so absolutely perfect and you can modify these to your heart's content and obviously if you fancy a little bit of retro front rack on it, loads of lights to uh, really mod it up and I know a lot of our customers have obviously uh, done their own uh, wrapping or had their bikes re-sprayed in the two-tone or had custom paintwork done so there is absolutely loads, there is loads of space on those side panels for custom detailing on those and obviously on the seat you can slide yourself back a bit if you're a little bit long in the leg just slide yourself back I find it quite comfortable just sat perched on the front of the bike and it does handle very very well for a scooter and obviously when I first started riding these I wasn't a big lover of, as I say of scooters or cruisers but I absolutely love these Royal Alloys it just gives you that buzz of being on a classic scooter the same as if obviously you were on a big bike or you're taking out something like a higher booster or a fire blade and you're like oh god this thing is so lovely this little royal alloy is as well and i absolutely love riding these now and obviously uh, compared to the old scooters of yesteryear this is a twist and go some of the old scooters had the uh, the clutch and the gearbox on the left hand controls and we've seen a couple of those over the last couple of weeks as well and i had a bit of fun on those but this one, it's just, it is just the bee's knees. 
and obviously the finishing on these is exquisite all of those ends and all the rubbers and all the trims have got nice little aluminium ends to them with a nice little screw in there so the finish on these is absolutely perfect so nine miles in and we're racking along obviously keep my eye on that lorry where he was going over my shoulder and I got a perfect view of the road so we're going to be coming off here we're going to do a little bit of urban round the town a little bit and then head back to the garage for that obligatory cup of coffee and obviously uh, I think <laughs> when this video goes up I'm expecting a comment from the uh, masked avenger he is always commenting on my uh, posts and as an older biker he really does know his stuff <laughs> and uh, Mask, if you are watching this, um, make sure you are following my page because uh, some of your comments that come in, I can't reply to them. I don't know why. Um, but every time you put a link up, I go in there and I can't, uh, I can't reply. Some of them I can reply if I give it a heart, but obviously when I go into some of my YouTube stuff, your stuff isn't coming up. So just make sure that if you do a reply, <laughs> make sure you get it in there correctly for me. But obviously, yeah. Uh, my apologies if I haven't replied to all of them because I can't see them. They pop up on my feed, but when I actually click on the video, your comments are not there. So, not my fault, it's something to do with YouTube. But thank you very much, Master Venger. And he's very, very knowledgeable, knowledgeable about what he does. He's always like, oh, I have one of these, blah, blah, blah. Or, I don't trust the engine on that one. Or, yeah, that's, that's a piece of rubbish, wouldn't, wouldn't be seen. Like, and his comments are very fair and true. Yes. And I do appreciate all the comments that everybody leaves. And uh, even if you don't like a bike, that is your opinion. As I say, opinions are like bum holes. Some of them smell, some of them uh, are quite nice. Uh, everybody is entitled to their own opinion, and I, I do appreciate all the opinions. Some people don't like bikes, some people do. Some people don't like scooters, some people don't like cruisers, some people don't like Chinese bikes, some people don't like the big bikes. And we had one the other day, and uh, obviously I posted up that uh, I've done the first two uh, Lexmoto rides, the LXR and the LXS. And he just put a single comment. First one beginning with D, second one beginning with head. Uh, and I was like, so I messaged him, what's your problem? Well, you ride them too slow. Uh, okay, why? Well, you should peg, be pegging them at 70 mile an hour, mate. You know, that's how I ride my bikes. Okay. That's your opinion. They should be test ridden at 40 to 45 mile an hour. No, I took mine straight up to 70 out of the box, mate. Never had an issue with it, but um, actually went on his page and had a look at some of his photos of his bike. Jesus Christ, what a piece of crap. Um, and that's all I am going to say. Um, the amount of panels on it that are broken, scuffed, held together with zip ties, and he's got, I don't know what that exhaust is, he's got an aftermarket exhaust on it, but uh, it's nice to see that uh, his rear bike, his rear box was actually held on the back with a piece of string. I'm like, okay, yeah, fine. Young rider. Well, I would say he's about 18 or 19. So that's your opinion, mate. If, <laughs> you know, if you're going to treat your bike like an utter piece of rubbish, and then obviously slate other people. Happy days doesn't bother me in the slightest, but it was it was the replies that I got uh, personally. It was like, who is this? And I'm like, leave it, boys, leave it. Everybody's entitled to an opinion, so <laughs> doesn't bother me in the slightest. Everybody gets a troll every now and then. And I love it. If you're going to uh, go and click on a video, give it a thumbs down and leave a comment. It means you've watched the video. Thank you very much. That's another pen penny in my YouTube funds. Doesn't bother me in the slightest. And that's why I always say to the boys, if, you, if you're going to get trolled, let them get out, mate. Every time they click on your video, it means that uh, you're getting a view count on it. So, happy days. Some people who are just, uh, as, as my friend the uh, military biker would say, numpties. And I haven't heard that word in absolutely ages. And the uh, military biker knows his stuff. And a couple of others I'm going to give a quick shout out to while I'm riding this bike. And... Um, the boys, Wibbly Wobbly, I haven't seen Wibbly Wobbly Harley Rider for absolutely ages, burning gas, hauling ass. We're going to try and do a live stream this Friday. Get on the channel and try and do a live stream, see who is on. And uh, obviously a big shout out to Bikes, Beards and Brews. He absolutely roasted the Can-Am. 
and all this stuff grinding my gears is all tongue-in-cheek it was meant to be started as a, a one-off and obviously <laughs> we had so much response from it he's doing a weekly one now and grinds my gears and I said to him I said you really should do so th this one's going out for you Ben uh, if you want to do grinds my gears servicing and I have had loads of where's this lorry going come on now decided he's going to turn left. I take it he's going to finish the bridge off for the railway. We've had a lot of people. That, oh, how much is the service? Uh, your average 125 service, full bolt check, oil and filter change, check and adjust your chain or your drive belt, check your valves and all that rubbish. And unless the valves are extra time, you're looking at 99.50. And uh, he's like, oh, okay, oh, it's a bit expensive for me. What bike you got? Some people have got absolutely no clue. So he's, uh, I'm actually looking for a service. Oh, I've been quoted 50 quid, mate. All right, okay. Well, they're obviously not They're using a cheap oil. Oil that we use is either going to be Motol or Silkaline. We tend to use... Uh, everybody just dumping cars everywhere today. You can tell people are coming out of lockdown. Absolutely no idea. And the license is out of a cornflake packet. And uh, obviously, speaking to this gentleman, he's like, oh, yeah, all right, I'll, I'll, I'll shop around. OK. He's like, well, how much is it if I brought my GSX 1100 in? Uh, you're probably looking around about two. For exactly the same sort. Oh, all right, yeah. Ooh. How much is your oil? Uh, about six pounds something a litre. Oh, oh. I can go to Halfords and buy a motor oil. And it's about eight quid. Or I can get it in the bargain shop. OK. Well, that's what you want to do and uh, as I always say you're going to go and spend brand new bike you're going to go and spend three grand on the 125 big bike you're going to spend about four or five grand on sort of your average second hand one 12 grand if you go and buy a new one are you really going to scrimp on your services it's like uh, you get people with these BMWs and Lexuses and uh, all the big posh cars and they spend the absolute cheapest on their tyres brake pads and servicing because they've got a big car, big flash car. Can't afford the rest of it. I always say, if you're gonna do a service, give it the works. And obviously my Cracker 750, every time that comes in for a service, it's around about four to 600 quid, depending on what I have done on it. And I tend to roll, roll or run, uh, Motol 7000 in mine. I either go for the 6000 or 7000, which is the uh, bright green oil, so I tend to put that in it. And that stuff is highly expensive. Absolute arm and a leg for that. My plugs in my bike are about £20 each for the iridiums. So you're looking at 200 quid before you even uh, get the technician to start stripping the bike. Full panel removal, tank off, seat off, everything to get into the plugs and the airbox. K&N filters every time. Now uh, K&Ns are washable. I tend to change my K&N every two years and put a new one in simple reason being I want the best of the best on my bike that's why she runs so darn good but if you're going to scrimp on a service and put the cheapest motor oil in then you're going to end up with issues buddy but that is entirely up to you some people do their own servicing saves them a bit of money but I would always say book it in with a qualified technician there's only one technician in our garage that will touch my bike and obviously when the Z comes in it's already uh, had a service about 700 miles ago when that comes into me that is going straight in the workshop and I'm going to have another oil change on it check it all over and we're going to bang the Motol in it again I absolutely love Motol oil it is expensive but it is damn good and your opinions on uh, what oil you use leave that in the comments down below so 13 miles in we are heading back to the garage time for a cup of coffee and a cigarette we're going to crack on get some stuff done so if you did enjoy the video comments down the bottom please let me know what you think of servicing new bikes and uh, what you think of trolls I don't mind and obviously go and check out all those bike bloggers that I've mentioned boys are very very good <laughs> yeah it's it's numpty day today everybody is being a numpty I'm using the military bikers word now
as always hit the thumbs up thumbs down let us know what you think and the final bit notifications bell ka -ching, top right up here hit that notifications bell tell you when the next video is coming up and don't forget if you do want to follow the channel you can now become a fully paid member uh, membership is on my about me page or the likes page on the YouTube starting from as little as 99p and obviously if you go for the big one 4.99 you get a free t-shirt for the first month so it's well worth it t-shirts I normally sell out about eight nine quid so get yourself an RB t-shirt if you wanted one of those and um, postage is included in that as well UK only though please I don't ship to the States unless you pay the extra postage as always, all our motorcycles can be found at eclipsemotorcyclesmk.co.uk Numbers down the bottom, 01908 643 603 We're out on the uh, Royal Alloy GP125 for Lynn Nice long test ride, bike is absolutely perfect Give the customer a call now, say, bike's all good Comes in now for the obligatory clean tomorrow A coat of ACF50 all over the bike Absolutely love my ACF50 until the next time, guys, we're out on another ride test, which is going to be about in a couple of hours. Be well, ride safe, and from RB, it's a big goodbye from me.